Good morning, everyone. It is a gorgeous day out there, beautiful summer day. I just got done with an amazing workout. And whenever I say amazing, I mean really hard. It was a very difficult workout, but I did finish the workout with an amazing breakfast. My mom is here and she made steak and eggs and it was so yummy. Piglet loved it. She was sitting by the stove the whole time. She was not gonna miss any of that steak and eggs. She wanted all of it. Oh, Rich is currently pulling out. I think he's actually filming too. So we have dual vlogging going on. He's over there vlogging. I'm over here vlogging. This is just the neighborhood of vloggers. It's making a lot of noise over there. Interrupting my vlog. There he goes. See his nice red Corvette? A little behind the scenes of Rich's video. But anyways, I was just coming on here to tell you guys how great my morning was. And now I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I have a big day ahead. So let me go shower, freshen up, change, and then I will catch you guys up on everything that is happening today. All right, fresh and clean. So I don't know if you guys caught on at the beginning of this video. I'm in the bakery, by the way. Sorry, it's probably echoey. It's not really set up for filming in here, but I don't know if you guys caught on at the beginning of the video where I said that my mom is in town and there is a very specific reason for why she is in town this weekend. A little hint here on my shirt. Any guesses, any guesses? Does anybody have any guesses? Well, the answer is Bobby and Tressa are having a baby. So Bobby's my brother, for those of you that don't know, and Tressa is my sister-in-law. Now this video is obviously not gonna be posted until after they go public, and I'm not sure when they're gonna do that. So I'm not 100% sure when this video is going to be going live. But today is such a huge day because we are finding out the gender of the baby. So we don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, and that is what we're finding out today. So we're gonna have a little gender reveal party over at Bobby and Tress's house. I just finished making all of the desserts. So I did freshen up and shower, but then I also started to work on the desserts. So I got a lot done between now and the last clip that you guys saw. These are the only things that I have out right now. The other things are in the fridge, but I made some chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats. Here, I'll uncover them so you guys can see a little bit better. But I just did some white chocolate with a drizzle and some nice pearls and then some bee sprinkles and I think that these turned out really cute. I happen to have a bee cake stand that my mom gave me a few years ago, so it matched the theme perfectly. Oh, I guess I should explain why there's bees. The whole theme for the gender reveal is going to be what will you be? So everything is gonna be bee themed, and the way they're going to tell if it's a boy or girl is it's gonna be a beehive, and it's filled with pink or blue confetti. So the whole thing is bee themed. I have a bee cake, I have some chocolate covered strawberries, and I think everything turned out super cute. We are actually getting ready to head out right now. I cannot believe that this is happening. I am so excited. <laughs> this is actually going to be my third niece or nephew. I don't know how you would word that because I have one niece and one nephew, and then this will be the next either niece or nephew. So I inherited a niece and a nephew through marriage with Michael, Will and Sophia. You guys have seen them on this vlog. So I'm gonna be an auntie to three now, which is, crazy to think about and I can't wait to have a little baby around. I'm so excited. Let me do a better job at wrapping these Rice Krispie treats up because they're not like fully wrapped. So I'm gonna wrap these up and then I went ahead inside and show you guys a cute little gift that I got and then we will have to head out and go over to the party. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think you really do gifts for gender reveals but like of course it's a nice thing to bring a gift. So this whole gift is revolved around Tressa and I'm gonna say Bobby too because he's the dad but it's really not for Bobby really at all. But I didn't wanna get anything for the baby cause I feel like that's for the baby shower and I'm gonna have plenty of opportunities to be getting stuff for the baby. So I just wanted to kind of spoil Tressa, you know, the mother that is growing this human. Um, so I made her a little goodie basket to bring along to the party today. So since it's bee themed, of course, I got a cute little basket here instead of a bag. I like to get baskets so people can reuse them in their house and stuff for storage. And then I kept it with the bee theme. So I have a hair mask here that is bee themed. <laughs> I got a lot of Burt's Bee stuff. This is for her tummy for like a belly butter. And then in here is a bee bracelet. I'm not gonna open this up. I wrapped this up for her nice and pretty, but there's a cute little bee bracelet in here. And then in this Burt's Bee thing is like a bunch of lotion and I think like uh, lip gloss and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in this container. I made homemade macadamia nut cookies. It says homemade with love. These are incredible. Um, they're Tressa's favorite cookie. I made a bunch for them at their wedding. They were a hit. So this batch turned out amazing as always. So they have some cookies in here. This is like the parts that Bobby can use because he's gonna love all the snacks. 
And then, you know, some Cheerios following the bee theme still. And then I found some fruit snacks that have bees and bugs and butterflies. And Tressa's cravings are insanely salty. And every time she comes over here, she eats like all of my pepperoncinis that are in the fridge. So I found some pepperoncini uh, flavored chips and I hope that they're good. I hope she likes them. So hopefully this satisfies her salty craving. Now it is time to load up the truck. We're gonna put all of the things in, gotta get all these desserts over there, and it is time for the party. We are just like an hour away from finding out if it's a boy or a girl. And I wanted to show you guys my mom's outfit. She looks so beautiful. My mom always looks beautiful. Yeah, look at the bee earrings. And then look at the back. Love the bow. Super cute, I'm so excited. We are on our way en route to Bobby and Tress's house. I have the cake here. I never assemble cakes on a cake stand, but I wanted it to be fancy. So I put it on a cake stand and this is it. Like I can't box it up. So I have to hold it. I'm holding onto this thing for dear life. And then my mom back there is holding onto the Rice Krispie treats. And then all the other things are packed in down there. So my mom is freaking out because this is her first grandbaby, you guys. So this is a very big deal. Is she going to have a granddaughter or grandson? Everybody, please leave your guesses in the comments below. I am so hyped to see your guys' guesses. I think a lot of people in our family are guessing boy. Um, I have a little thing down here where people are gonna guess on. Uh, I'll show you guys it once we get to the house. So this is the little poster I got, and it's for people to guess if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. And of course, it's also bee themed with a little bit of Winnie the Pooh action on the bottom. All right, let's walk around really quick and see what everybody thinks the baby is going to be. Girl. I think it's going to be a girl. Girl, easy, easy choice. Boy. Boy? But it could be a girl? I would ask Liv, but she's the gender keeper, so we can't ask Liv. <laughs> it's a boy. So my guess is a girl, but I'm gonna say boy so Tressa doesn't slap me. <laughs> Tressa really wants a boy. It's a boy. What about you, Jace? You wanna guess? Boy. Stella, what do you think it's gonna be? A boy or girl? Boy, girl? You think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? Yeah. Okay. Not <laughs> boy. Boy. I think it's gonna be a girl. Officially it. I am shaking. We are about to find out if it is a boy or a girl. home that was a very successful gender reveal and now we are going to go celebrate the baby boy so we have the baby boy mama here look at this boy mom mm. and of course immediately <laughs> we are going to go shopping for this little baby boy just for fun you know we want to go out and look at baby boy clothes and just have fun with it so we're all gonna go shopping and just enjoy the rest of our night. Successful shopping trip. I think the last time I vlogged in the back of this car, we were going Black Friday shopping with you guys. You guys <laughs> came along for that. I'm gonna show you some things that we got. I think my mom got this for the baby. The little dinosaurs with dinosaur feet. Come on, are you kidding me? And it is not it, it's not an it anymore. He is going to be born in February, so it's gonna be very cold. This is super fuzzy and soft, so he'll be nice and warm. So you gotta look for warm things for the beginning. Um, and then Auntie Gigi, that's what I'm gonna be called, uh, got cookie things, of course. I had to do that. My first purchase for the baby had to be <laughs> cookie theme, cause, you know, what else would it be? And then I also got this, more cookie theme. I'm Are a you cookie kidding monster, me? so the son's gonna be a yeah, Bobby's a cookie monster. He just devours my cookies. And then I couldn't pass up these bibs. I love the frog. It reminds me of oatmeal. 
<laughs> it looks like little Odie. And then just cute stripes. And then that's just adorable. I love the goose and the mushroom. I don't know, it's just really, really cute. And these are like not just cloth, there's like a plastic in there. So they're water resistant, which is really nice. So very successful. I'm gonna close off the vlog because it's starting to get dark out and we are all gonna go have some dinner after that big shopping trip. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching this very special video and we will be seeing you guys in the next upload. Bye guys.